There are a lot of people in here. You know, Matt Gates. What, what's the next move? I see some Matt Gates for president. Oh I see no, some no, no! Matt Gates for governor. I want uh, him to be well, governor well, first for Florida. If you run for governor, will you promise to at least be governor? I I would definitely uh, in, enjoy that job so much I would never leave it if I oh, ever wait, got that I, opportunity. I'm going to pre-endorse. <laughs> Me too. Matt Gates for governor of Florida right now. I'm going to be literally. Same. The, I, no, I beat you to it, baby. I'm the first endorsement of Matt Gates for governor. I already told him. The people of Florida, not so interested in Matt Gates as their next governor. And we'll get to the results of polling that, that demonstrates that. But is Matt Gates considering running for governor of Florida? It appears that is the case. We don't know for sure, but he is considering a gubernatorial run in 2026. But we should look at the polls because the people of Florida not buying what he's selling. NBC News reported in September that Matt Gates has been telling allies in the Sunshine State that he intends on running to succeed incumbent Governor Ron DeSantis in 2026. But Gates told NBC that while many did encourage me to consider running for governor one day, his only political focus right now is Trump 2024. I love when politicians lie. Like I don't that. know why they do it. It's just it's super annoying. Why don't you just be honest? Just like say it. And besides, which you're like a right wing populist wannabe guy, right? So like, it's not like your voters are gonna mind if you say like, yeah, I'd love to be governor and I'm totally thinking about it. But in the meanwhile, I'm trying to help Trump win. What's the downside in that? Why do you have to be a weirdo scheming politician? I never understood that trend, that pattern. It, all politicians seem to do it. But with that said, let's go to the poll that was conducted by Florida Atlantic University. His approval ratings aren't so great at the moment. Um, so the question was, do you approve or disapprove of Representative Matt Gates's performance as a member of Congress? Only 11.6% strongly approve, 8.9% somewhat approve, 10.5% somewhat disapprove, but 46.4% strongly disapprove. Okay, that is not a good sign. So, uh, total number of uh, total percentage of survey takers who approve of his, uh, you know, handling as a congressman, 20.5%, um, 56.9% totally like they disapprove of the job he's doing. Yeah, it's interesting. So let's break it down a little bit. Um, so the number overall is not that surprising because. Uh, he lost a lot of Republican support when he prevented uh, Republicans from managing the House in a way that wasn't deeply embarrassing. So, and the Democrats hate Matt Gates. So, when you take those two groups together, not a happy formula for him. Now, uh, he thought leaning into his base is the right way to go. That's relatively true, but it depends on what district or state that you're in. So if you're in a very conservative district like Marjorie Taylor Greene, you can't go right wing enough. There isn't anything you could say that they wouldn't love and, and kick you out for. But Florida is a relatively purple state. And so you can't just lean in all the way to your base. That might help you win a Republican primary. So I wouldn't count them out yet, right? But then you actually have to win the general election. And that's going to be very difficult with numbers that are just awful. I mean, 21% isn't gonna get you anywhere near a, a victory. So we'll see if that gets him to change his mind about running for governor or to maybe soften his stance if he wants the I, governor uh, job. But right now, he's not on that trajectory. Look, I don't even know if this is about softening his stance. I think that at the end of the day, American voters aren't idiots and you have to deliver for them. At some point, the theater, the posturing, the circus that he tends to engage in isn't going to really bode so well for you know other political uh, aspirations. And in this case, it would be a gubernatorial run. You have to deliver for people. You have to show that you're actually interested in representing them. And I don't know if we've seen much of the you know populist MAGA flavor of congressional lawmakers really delivering for the American people. There's Am I being a little ridiculous by saying that? Like no, no. I, the, the voters want it. Now, the thing is, right wing voters, depending on where they are on the political spectrum, uh, think delivering for them is something different than a Democratic voter might. So, Democratic voters generally think in terms of policy, like, hey, I want uh, paid family leave, I want higher minimum wage, uh, I want the public option, etc., right? For right wing voters, a lot of them just think, well, I want an emotional release. I want you to hate the same guys that I hate. Not all of them, but that quadrant, 
right? Mm, I think you're making a mistake by assuming that. No, it's not no, it's I think in the they, numbers. It's I, every I, number shows 25% of the country, about half of Republicans. So you can say it's third of Republicans depending on the polling. Jake, you don't know. You don't know what percentage of Republicans only want to own the libs and care about nothing else. You don't know, you're just making this up. No, right I'm now. not, it's in, the, it's in the polling. When you ask them, for example, uh, is there anything that Donald Trump could do, break the law, hurt other people, etc? They say, no, I just, as long as he owns the libs, I'm good with him. No, right? no, that's true. But we're not talking about Trump. We're talking about members of Congress, right? Yeah, but you, you see that in, in, in the polling in the political spectrum all the time, all the time. So it doesn't mean that all Republicans are, are that way, but is there a significant percentage of them that are? Absolutely. So when you own the libs, they're like, that's all I need. I don't need anything else in my life. I'm good. Okay, so, so how but do you it's not enough. That's my point, Anna. I'm trying to get to it's not enough. It's not enough to win a state. It's not, there's only one exception to that rule, and it's Donald Trump. Donald Trump doesn't deliver anything but hatred. And, so, and, and except one thing that I've got to tell you guys. So, when, like, did he deliver for any of his orders? Did he build a wall? No. Did he pass any immigration laws that made a difference? No. Did he help you in getting more jobs? No, he didn't do anything to help you. The only thing he did was a giant tax cut for the rich and for corporations. He delivered jack squat, right? But he had the Johnny Cash phenomenon. He was the first prominent person to flip off the establishment. So Johnny Cash had that on one of his album covers, and that's part of the reason why people loved him. Gave the bird, you know, the finger. To the powerful. So people perceive Donald Trump as giving the finger to the powerful, and they love that. Plus, he's a celebrity. So that's why he got to be completely unproductive and got a pass on it. But if you're Matt Gates, you're not a celebrity, you're not the first, that people are not impressed. So the fact that you didn't deliver anything is hurting you, not just with Democratic voters and independents, but also with Republicans. So let's get back to the poll, which found that even more disappointingly for Matt Gates, he performs poorly with Republicans as well as Democrats and independents. Nearly as many members of his own party disapprove of Gates, 36.3%, as approve, 36.6% of him, while independents disapprove by a margin of 53.8% to 21.1%. And look, I just, I think overall, Americans hate Congress, and it's because Congress overall doesn't deliver for us. And so it doesn't surprise me that he has a low approval rating. I'm really curious to see what the approval rating would be for a Democratic lawmaker. It wouldn't be that low, and I'll tell you why. So you're right that it's not like anybody's delivering. You know, To be fair to Biden and the Democrats, they did about 15% of his agenda, and which is a lot better than most politicians do. It's damning with faint praise, it's so tiny, right? I mean, that whole lowering drug prices, what a fraud that was. Lower drug price for one drug. It's absurd, it's a cover story. So we're all deeply frustrated with how politicians never, ever deliver, right? But in the case of Matt Gates, he is known mainly for blocking Republicans from having a Speaker of the House mm -hmm. and, and creating that giant mess that embarrassed Republicans, not Democrats. So then you lose a giant chunk of your own voters, True. a yeah. giant chunk of independents, and the Democrats hated you in the first place. So you become particularly unlikable and unfavorable. That's why he's in a world of trouble. An average Democrat or Republican congressman is just used, viewed as generally useless, but will get somewhere around 40%. I mean, you know, that's a gross generalization. But but with Matt he Gates, he gets half of that because he's known to be a guy who's deeply unproductive. When you uh, poll the respondents on how they feel about Ron DeSantis, the current governor of Florida, and of course, a Republican presidential candidate in the primary, uh, he obviously has better numbers. Uh, so I just wanted to show you this to compare him to Gates. Um, so let's take a look at that. The total percentage of respondents who approve of the job that Ron DeSantis has done in Florida uh, is 49.6% and 48.9% disapprove. So it's pretty much split. And just going back to Matt Gates, remember only 20.5% approve of the job he's been doing in Congress and 56.9% disapprove. But one last interesting note, DeSantis all of a sudden is at 50-50, basically. Um, remember, he won by 20 points not that long ago uh, when he got reelected as governor of Florida. Mm -hmm. What does that tell you? That means Trump pounding him in the primaries has taken a toll and it's hurt him with Republicans and independents in Florida. Trump is a hell of a beast, man. 
you get in the way of that steamroller, you're gonna have some trouble, especially on the Republican side. And then the Democratic side, let's see if they want to fight him. I don't know. Hey, thanks for watching that video. We really appreciate it, guys. And we appreciate it if you become members because that allows us to be independent, honest, progressive, all the things that you don't get from corporate media. And all of that is because of you guys. Hit the join button below and become one of us, become a young Turk.